on his dog. Whoa! So you can see his, I saw his dog before I saw him. Could he, cause he, his dog has blinky lights. He had blinky lights on him too. He did, but I didn't see them first. I saw his dog first. Hey Mimi, you used to be an electrician. Tell the people everything about how to electricity. Everything? Everything you can in the amount of time we have, okay? Start okay. at the basics. Don't touch it. It's totally dangerous. Ever, ever, ever don't touch it. That's why electronic things have protective cases around it that prevent you from touching the electric stuff. Because otherwise you'd get yourself killed. That's, that's it. What? That's everything you need to know about electricity stuff. That's, oh, oh that's all. don't stick metal into power outlets. So don't you give him the idea. So you with the Just don't even mention it. Don't touch the outlet with it or you will die. Don't do it. Don't, you'll die. And if for some you're, reason you think dying would be a good thing, go talk to a therapist. You need help. Or, or call the suicide prevention hotline. I don't remember the number off the top of my head because I never need to call it. But I'm sure you can find it on the internet. My favorite electronics were in my UFO, and they won't give me them back. Well, wait, they, you pay, but your favorite electronic is the, is the gaming systems we have, which aren't in the UFO. Yeah, but the really cool gaming systems are. I know. There is this one gaming system in our UFO, which had the power to detect what system you put, um, what system, the, okay, you would put like a cartridge or a disc or something into it, and it would detect what system it was made for, and it would like emulate that system. Like, what are you talking about? Remem remember that? It would allow you to emulate anything just by like putting the thing, by, just by no, putting the game. No, they were all already programmed in there. Oh yeah, that's how it worked. It, it had all of the, and Okay, every time a new, like, major console would come out, we'd have to, like, wait forever. We'd, ha it ha it, we'd have to wait, like, an entire day for it to download, like, all of the emulation tools required. No, it was instantaneous. <laughs> My UFO is totally awesome. Well, it took, like, a day that one... Okay, there was that one time we accidentally connected to Earth Internet instead of UFO Internet. It took, like, an entire day to download. Uh, what, what gaming system was it? Oh, it was the Xbox 976. It took a, an entire day to download that. Because we accidentally used Earth Wi-Fi instead of the UFO's Wi-Fi. It was horrible. Incidentally, Xbox number 976 is really only the 400th version of the Xbox. You know, you guys know how Xbox numbers things. It's really weird. <laughs> Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and there might be another one. No, then there's the Xbox X, Xbox One X. Oh yeah, I've heard rumors that they're gonna make like a fourth one or something. 
and then and then there was a Super Xbox, and then there was the Neo Xbox, and then there was the Xbox Black. And then there was the Xbox X Black was totally cool. I really liked it. And then there was the X Phone, which was so confusing because that's the abbreviation everyone used for the Xbox. Oh, I know. It was like it's a little sick. handheld thing, like the PS, like that little PS handheld thing. PS that was, it? I don't know what it was. It was way back in the day. Like a PS1 handheld or something. I, I think don't know. It, was it was called the PS Vita or something. It was terrible. And same, then with, they, same with the Xbox Pro. And then they released the Xbox Lollipop and it was like the best one. Oh, it was totally cool. It came with Lollipop Chainsaw. And it was it was totally a fun game because that was the game they introduced VR into the into the games. Yeah, that was the first Xbox console that had VR capability. Yeah, in the console. It was so cool. And I mean, like even and then right they now, released, PC. Oh my has god! It. And then they released the Xbox Cloud. Okay, the Xbox Cloud came out way after the Xbox Cloud. The Xbox Cloud was amazing because the VR capability would tap into your brain or soul. We're puppets. It tapped into our soul. It, it had to include uh, soul tapping capabilities because around that time, uh, robots with artificial souls started becoming a really popular thing. So they had to make sure, and the thing is the robots with the artificial souls, because they had souls, they had consciousness, so they would have, so they have to make it so they had support for those little robots. I like the game that- Anyways, anyways, it would tap into your brain or your soul, so you would, so it'd be like in VR, you'd be moving around exactly like you were in real life. It was the most immersive VR experience ever. And, but, if, and, in, and in real life, you were just like kind of floating there in a stasis. My favorite game was on the Xbox Black. It was the one where you made tacos and you had to run a taco truck. Oh my god. And you but had to drive Xbox, around. But the Xbox Cloud had the it had the best VR. It had like this one really cool VR MMO. Well yeah, because that Xbox the Xbox consoles started teaming up with with all of the other industries to make their training ex exercises, oh. their training programs so that they can, because they were all done in a really, really excellent virtual reality. Oh the most popular games for the Xbox Cloud. So it makes learning really there was, easy. Okay, there is this one really popular MMORPG. I can't say the name because cop, I can't say the name because reasons. I'm not allowed to say the name, but it was this one really cool, it was like the best thing ever. You could. It was like real, it was almost exactly like real life, but it had magic and people in could just super terraform the world and, and it was like amazing. And then there was this one, it was, it was like a Google map and VR crossover, which basically allowed you to, to explore the world as an, as an immortal ghost. And it was so cool because you could just look anywhere in the world. It was so fun. People just loved going into, like, go, hopping on there and just, like, exploring jungles. And those are deep underwater or, like, in the sky without fear of dying. It was but, amazing. But it was way better than Google Earth. Yes, it was Google Earth, but VR. It was, and it was totally immersive. Yes, because it had like, a cool soul slash Like, not gray. just... It only had the cool way soul the camera goes. It, it wasn't. It wasn't like confined to only where the camera goes. It, oh my god! It was amazing. You, you were the camera that uploaded to the software that brought into the program. Then, so you were actually part creator of the game because you got to help explore the world and make it make it bigger, so other people knew and then their way suddenly, around. Google released the Super Project, and when it was finished, it was called Google Space VR, where you could explore outer space in VR, and it would allow you to move faster than the speed of light because it was VR, and you would be allowed to break the laws of physics in VR. Yep. All from it sitting was... on, all from sitting on your toilet well, in the no, bathroom. Well, no, you would be sitting, you'd be stasising, floating above it, but it was the best thing ever. Anyways, 
this is the end of our episode. I hope you enjoyed hearing about how epic VR becomes in the future. It's the coolest thing ever. You guys are totally lucky to be witnessing history being made. Okay, bye! Wait! We gotta stall it for like a few more seconds Wait. for extra ad revenue. Extra seconds? But what? Why? So we can get...